Is A Christmas Carol actually a psychedelic journey into the great beyond? Did Ebenezer Scrooge take DMT? Here's my take on it. If you're like me, you've viewed more screen adaptations of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol than you can possibly count. I mean, we all know the fictional story, right? A self-centered old miser barricades himself in an empty house and experiences a ghostly visitation from a dead friend. Next, three outlandish spirit entities arrive and take him on a mind-rending journey through time and space. At the end of that experience, Scrooge re-engages with the world with a profoundly increased sense of openness. And that brings us to DMT. Now, DMT is a naturally occurring psychedelic compound. You'll find it in plants such as the ayahuasca vines of South America. And as with all natural psychedelics, the stuff is factored into shamanistic rituals for thousands of years, long before anyone knew what a hippie was. Under a shaman's guidance, people took these perception-altering elements and endured intense and sometimes harrowing mental journeys. They encountered alien entities, shades of departed loved ones. They saw the world around them as it actually is for the very first time, and they perceived deep truths about themselves and the cosmos. And finally, as the effects of the psychedelic wore off, they emerged from their journey transformed. Sounds like a certain Christmas story, doesn't it? And this isn't mere New Age nonsense, either. Researchers at John Hopkins Medical Center and other esteemed medical research labs continue to study the effects of DMT and other psychedelics, not only to better understand how our minds work, but also to learn how these powerful substances might help us treat mental illnesses or maybe even find enlightenment. Just consider this. A 2011 study at John Hopkins University gave high doses of psilocybin, that's magic mushrooms, to 51 test subjects. 30 of these individuals experienced measurable personality changes that lasted lasted more than a year. So think about that when you watch Scrooge sprint gleefully through the streets of London, embracing his fellow man and wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. And what caused this magnificent transformation of spirit? Well, could have been ghosts, could have been a near-death experience, but maybe, just maybe, a certain psychedelic plant was slipped into his evening gruel. So what's your take? Are there any other famous works of literature that closely resemble a page from Timothy Leary's Trip Diary? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to have a safe and happy holiday.